It's so cold in the van. It is actually, you can see that, it's four degrees. Four degrees in the van. It's like 4.5 outside. It's warmer outside of the van than it. Oh no, hang on, that's the kitchen. Um, yeah, it's 4.9 outside and 4 inside. So, switch on the heater. Keep an eye on the voltage. Should be fine. It'll be warm in here by the time I'm ready. takes note voltage wise once it's up to power the heat plugs kick in and it, uh, it draws a little bit for about I think only three minutes while the heat plugs are being used so in a second the pump will start and we'll go look 11.8 that's starting to draw it right down uh, the voltage is starting to drop because the heat plugs have been kicked in and in a second the pump will kick in like I've just said and uh, it'll start firing diesel into the burn chamber and the heat plugs will burn that and then it'll get hot and then once it gets hot the voltage will come straight back up again and I'll show you what the problem is I'll pause the video and tell you what the problem is when it comes back right there you can hear and even with the mattresses on the bed and everything else it uh, it's too loud and I had tried to cover it in sound deadening as it happens, material that I had left over because uh, it was sticky and there you go, the voltage is still dropped but give it five minutes and that'll be fine so yeah, I can't sleep and I need the, the, the temperature drops so badly in here at night because the insulation is not all that yet um, so the, the fix is going to be on the Easter holidays I'm going to rip the whole van out again and then I'm going to redo the electrics to where we want everything and then put the insulation back in in a proper vapour barrier insulate everything um, and start with the auto carpet so there the pump's kicking in there voltage is starting to come back up plugs will get switched off in a second and our voltage will climb back up again but the um so yeah i love the chinese diesel heater the cheap rip off but the problems the pumps are cheap the micro dosing pumps cheap now that that's that's died off there now but you don't run it that hot all night so that's doing its uh, there we go. See the voltage has come right back up again because it's not the heat plugs have been switched off now, and that's just burning off itself with the heat in the chamber. So it's uh, it's a clever system, really. So yeah, the voltage will climb back up again, I'm sure. Um, winter so the panels are not getting much in the way of amperage it's still January but yeah I'll pause the video now and I'll come back when this is stopped because it does a really hot burn at first to try and uh, make sure it's clean basically I think it does a hot burn at the end as well so once the fan cools down uh, calms down a bit and uh, it starts ticking over back the way it should be I'll do some more video and you can hear the pump so at night I like to run it above 2 2.1 Hertz uh, a Hertz is just however many times per second so it's um, 2 would be twice per second so 
two little tiny uh, sips of diesel per second. Now that's starting to, the fan's starting to ease off again there now. I'll show you the voltage because I, I don't know why I'm obsessed by it, but I'm obsessed by the voltage that's reporting. So there you go, 12.4 now. It's going right back up. But the issue, see, can you hear that? And let me stop covering the mic. So it's just, it's no good. Tick, tick, tick. So, solution, what's the solution? This is the solution. Hopefully. So there's a chap called James, 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 James Summit. I'll put a link in the description to uh, his email at least anyway. As I have a habit of not being so good. I'm looking after stuff. Oh, there we go. This knife is far to be pointless. Though it is better than my Leatherman, which I'll put an image up now. I managed to. Break on a piece of plastic. So that was good. Right, let's, uh, there we go. Very well packaged. Yeah. Oh God! Look at it. Beautiful. Isn't that a nice piece of work? It's going to sit underneath the van anyway, so that is a switch of some kind by the looks of things. No, 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 that's going to be the, yeah. That'll be the um, intake, because this part here is the anti-siphon. It's already preset it for me, the chap, I think. Uh, Cables, and then this is the out. It's the pump is all inside of here. I am so tempted to take it all apart, but I'm not gonna. There's a microdosing uh, membrane in here from looking at other videos, which I'll put a link to as well. Um, there's a microdosing membrane inside of here. That's the anti-siphon part. Which means it was an extra, I don't know, like 25 quid? No, really. Because what it means is that I can mount this anywhere I want, really. I can mount it under the van, under, I mean, I probably won't. Just in case anything gets kicked up and it smashes, I think it'll go inside the van. But I don't have to worry about a siphoning effect. Uh, because this stops that from happening. So this will draw from the diesel tank, separate diesel tank. I'm really. I was going to run the um, heater from the main tank, vehicle tank, but I don't think I will because I quite like being able to see how much. It's really easy to top up the separate diesel tank for starters. I quite like the fact that if anything fails or goes wrong or whatever, I'm not worried about it uh, being part of the van. I don't really mind chucking a load of diesel in the tank I mean a load of diesel, it costs like 8 quid or something and that lasts months um, I don't really mind chucking a load of diesel in at the same time as I fill up when it gets low anyway um, and it's so it's no big deal uh, so yeah, so this is going to go inside the van this runs off the same connections as the uh, existing pump apparently so I'll just hack into that and get some proper Cable connectors, maybe. And job's good. So that's the job for the weekend. Uh, Saturday AM, while I'm waiting for the scrap to come and take the car away. I'll uh, crack on with this. And I'll show you the 
I'll show you all that when I fit it, I guess. We'll go, we'll do some um, time lapsey stuff or whatever and fit it. Back to it. And then the email instructions said that the blue to negative, and then it doesn't matter which way around the yellow and the green go. So I guess the there must be some clever circuitry inside that just switches the polarity if it needs, if it detects the wrong way around. Um, so I've been under the van, and we'll take you into the van now. Oh. Right enough, there it is. Hang on, get the head torch, there we go. So... Get you in, you can see that. There's a live. Oh, there's a red and a black anyway, which I suspect. If you can see them against my finger, I suspect that's a live and a negative DC current. And um, there's all of this, which I want to harvest. This cable, I don't want all this cable going to waste. So I don't want to snip it off. But I've used um, fire cement. So I'm gonna have to crack the I'm gonna have to crack the fire cement. Um, so I can pull this cable through. But while I'm under, I might just snip this off. Get the cable ready. Uh, of course it's live in it. So I'm gonna have to come back out and disconnect it anyway. It's only 12 volt but still any sparks under here wouldn't be good at all for anybody. So back out I go dropping stuff on my face and my eyes all the while. Ugh. Is that a good shot? I don't think so. Hang on. Let's use these magnetic feet on this pod. Oh great, now the thing's dropped the bloody gun. Let's try that again. Uh, it's probably not a great shot, but it'll have to de Right. The 8 mil. Uh, 8 or 7. 8. We'll loosen them off. With the impact driver. side as well right. probably not gonna work probably because I've I've locked that down with the air so just want to try and pull this it's not gonna work is it maybe leave that up I think that breaks the seal and I'm not that bothered there's a canny length of cable on the one that he's given us. I could just cut that there. And connect his cutting off. Let's have a look at the one he's brought us. So this is the... Is it James... James Brown and Smith or something he's called? Nice lad anyway. He's emailed us a few times. Oh god, I've just ripped the bloody hose off the front of it. Well, I can't get away for now anyway. Yeah, so he's a UK maker, essentially. And uh, he's done a ton of research because he found a problem. And I suspect, like a lot of us, he didn't want to have to spend crackers amount of money on a, a the German the German branded parking diesel heater, parked diesel heater. Let's call them. I think you all know what I'm talking about. Rhymes with gazpacho. Um, doesn't rhyme with it, but you know what I'm saying. So yeah, he's uh, found a problem, and what we love, of course, as a computer science teacher, is people who solve problems, because that's what computer science is all about. So he reckons 
uh, these are in any configuration, the green and the yellow. So like I say, this cable here, I think I'm just gonna cut it. That's the old pump off. And then what I did was the in going into here. Oh, back another blood of van again. Show you. Get the torch, head torch on it. There we are. Right, so the, the, that there. Can you see that? That is a. Um, that's a diesel feed. That used to go straight into the pump, but now I'm running it straight into the bottom of the uh, heater because the pump's going to be in the van. I'm just I'm, I'm a little concerned that the length of this hose will impact on the dosing. But I guess we'll just suck it and see. I've pulled it through so that it's nowhere near this uh, exhaust. That should be fine. There's enough gap there for it not to be impacted by it. And I've just got to pull this cable through if I can. If not, I'm going to snip it off. But we'll have a go. We can but have a go. For now, I'll have a little wiggle of this. If I can break off the air. Uh, Surroundings, that's trying to trap it. I might be able to pull that through once I've loosened the screws off and pushed that up a bit. Oops, <sighs> dropped the 300 quid GoPro. Brilliant. Oh, good, I've dropped it again. Success! I've managed to pull through the uh, the power feed for the pump that splits off the loom. So I've got all that cable to play with now, which I'm quite pleased about. It wouldn't have been a big deal if I had to cut it off, but it's better that I've got it. And I've not really um, sacrificed any integrity on the seal for the unit, so I, I can't see any exhaust fumes coming back up or anything into the van. The seal's still intact, which is nice. Because the exhaust fumes, well, the carbon monoxide. Apparently it attaches, what is it that chap said in his video? The original, the guy who uh, invented this, like I say, is a UK maker. He spent months and months buying loads of different diaphragms for inside of this. I need to take the pot. These instructions were to check if there was a red light on that side. Um, yeah, loads of different diaphragms and buying different pumps and stripping them down, uh, changing the componentry from the pump that he decided he, he liked. The excuse me, the microdosing pump that he decided he liked. He stripped all of the diaphragms, everything, everything out, and replaced them with much better ones so he could put his name to it essentially i guess i mean this is going to be the guy's legacy you know i'm hoping this is as quiet as it seems to be on the videos which means i'll be able to get a good night's sleep because I, where i like to go when i'm camping is utterly silent in the van beautiful scenery and stuff like that and putting this on in the middle of winter and leaving it running all night is a no-no at the moment with that other pump i've just shown you because it's just tick 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 and i think i've got video footage that i've used at the start of this video if this guy's fixed it for the sake of 125 quid to use your van in the winter and leave it running overnight it's no brain as far as i'm concerned like i mean the prices might have changed the lad might have had to put them up because who knows what's going on with bloody brexit and everything else um so yeah, I need to wire this up. Blue to a negative, which can go to the same negative that the, we're there, that one. We'll undo that, and then we'll wire them two up. I think we'll do that first, and then we'll start messing around with the actual pump. So I'll bring it back once it's done. Right, we've got inlet, and that goes into this, which is this anti-siphon thing, here. Then we've got the outlet, which is coming through, that looks like another filter on the inside of his thing. Um, the 
primer the primer's just under there where that screwdriver's pointing. Okay. And uh, yeah, everything's set up the way that the chap said. So I've got blue to ground, and then the um, green and yellow. It doesn't matter which way around. So he's obviously done some clever jiggery perkery to switch polarity if it needs it. And then I've just got to put the fuse back in and test it. So let's do that. And I'll just stash these screws because I don't want to lose them. Moment of truth. And I have not switched this on yet at all, so I'm probably going to go wrong. My luck, the way that things work for me, this will definitely not work. And not just will it not work, if it's anything to do with me. There's no lights on, see? Although there wouldn't be yet, would there? Because there's nothing switching it on from the main switch. Oh, oh we've got lights on, we've got... <sighs> That bodes well. Right, should we just fire it up and see what happens? Let's go through it. I've set the lowest to 1400, like you said, and the highest to 4300, whatever you said in the email anyway. Um, I wonder if I use this to prime or if I... I'll try and use this to prime first. I think that's how we prime it. Just leave that for a few seconds in it. Until it changes, is that right? Yeah, I can't remember from the manual. I could just use a button, I suppose. I don't think I've lost that much diesel out of the system, though. I really don't. Let's do that. Go on. We'll see what happens. I don't even know. He said if that's steady on that light, then we're okay in the email. And if it flashes, we need an extra light. Of course, it won't be. It won't be pumping anything yet. Because it doesn't for a while anyway. The first, the normally it doesn't switch the pump on until the heat plugs have kicked in. So I'm gonna switch my head torch off. I am equal parts excited and nervous for this solution. Yeah, I've got to say that I bought this, guys. I didn't, um, I didn't get a freebie or anything like that. I don't, I wouldn't have taken it for free anyway, off the guy. Um, because he's a one-man band and he's doing this in his spare time and I think he needs to get all the revenue that he can so he can make this into an actual business because I want to see more British businesses I mean the truth of this will be when now uh, it can't be dosing yet it might not even have pulled anything through yet I might wait is that it that was a really kicking in and now we've got an LED flashing is that pulling? It can't be that quiet, surely. There must be a lock. Oh, shite, I haven't put the hose on the end of it. Put the hose on the back of the Screw that on a bit later. Oh my god, you can barely hear it. Can you hear it? unbelievable that is so quiet you can only just hear that when I've got the microphone right up to it if we start getting heat through here I shut the door it's really loud windy in that let's look there's exhaust fumes that means it's pushing it must be pushing diesel through the system it must be Right, so you don't get exhaust fumes without the combustion. That's always like that when it first starts up. I'm not worried about that. It's kicking out loads of I should probably reposition this exhaust like now I'm thinking about it. Definitely dosing. There's a lot of smoke there. Mm, that's far much more smoke than I remember. Let's give it a minute. 
just in case. Pushing the diesel through. I think that's clearing. just been from there uh, me messing around with it the amount of smoke that's just come out of there that's just smoke out the exhaust the diesel burning off once it gets hot enough that's not going to be a thing anymore I'm not worried about that settle down Hot air coming out of there, lovely. That is lush. Right, and this is the truth of the matter because it's never loud when it's first. So if we drag it up to, actually no, it down to 1.4, which I would have it at through the night, tickling over. That is massively different. But the issue. See, can you hear that? And let me stop covering the mic. Tick, tick, tick. So that's just, it's no good. I'll splice back in a bit of video from what the last one was and it was outside the van this piece of crap Right, that's it. I need to clean everything up properly in this van, of course. The whole lot's getting stripped out in the Easter holidays and redone. But for now, in the winter, that's it. It's just, I'm, I'm shocked by how easy it is to fit. Just pulling it, I mean, because it can sit inside the van happily, I don't mind. So there's a cable goes to the outside of the van, not a cable, a pipe. Diesel pipe goes to the outside of the van straight from inside here as we've said that feeds <coughs> that's the anti-siphon yeah which comes from so that's your inlet so you're not siphoning through a load of diesel um i think let's check that pretty sure it is it would make sense because the siphon action would come from the bigger thing wouldn't it so that stops it for siphon action I'll double check, I think that's how it is anyway. I'm not a computer science teacher, I'm not a bloody hydro engineer, whatever. Anyway, uh, and then that's the outlet to the. Um, does it matter which way it goes? I mean, I guess so. It must be the right way round, otherwise, the, diesel, the pump would have been pump, trying to pump diesel back into here. So, yes, I've got that right. So, uh, a doddle. Now, oh, and that, that might be why. I maybe I've moved that and that's why because that should be set on that arrow and maybe I've moved that and that's why we had all of the bloody <coughs> um, exhaust fumes to start with 
So we'll fire it back up and have another go. I need to reset the clock light. I'm going to do that now because that's doing my nothing. What are we? Zero, nine, twenty-four, nine, two, four. What are we on? Bloody watch. I must get a new one. Twenty-four. That'll do us. Okay. Everybody says this timer is pointless, and I don't get. If I go on, okay. And if I go eight. Zero. Now let's go one, and then let's go zero. Mm. Timer's on. Brilliant. That's going to come on every morning now, isn't it? Well, we'll see. Anyway, switch it on. See what happens with this exhaust fuel. I've just realised that I primed it the first time I used it, so there would have been a ton of diesel in that uh, combustion chamber. So now this time is the um, the airlock pump. That's the symbol. That means the pumps kicked in. So that should be burning off now. We should be getting some exhaust fumes. We are definitely burning, I can hear it. But there's not a ton of diesel like the last time. This is how it normally is. Right, that's good. It was just because it was primed the first time because I had to I had to run it. Yeah, I had to prime it. So yeah. Pumps kicked in. Plugs are still on. Till it gets up to a certain temperature and then that voltage should come back up again once the heat, uh, glow plugs are switched off. Point 0.4. There we go. Glow plugs are off. Behind the front of there, there's definitely heat coming out of it. Not much at the moment. It's not at the temperature yet. But most importantly, no smoke. Even though the combustion chamber is doing its job. Excellent. That was so easy, guys. Honestly, I cannot recommend this chop enough. Yeah, 12, 12, I knew that would be the case. Heat's starting to come up nicely there as well. It's just, it's just silent. I haven't even got the. There you go. There's its operation. So I guess um, the pump is to indicate the. Uh, sorry, the flashing light is to indicate the. Uh, the dose. So that'll stop flashing as fast once it's gone through the cycle. Um, The other one is the operation light, I guess. But get that in. But we'll wait until it's gone through a cycle and dropped down. Switch that torch off. Battery just died there, I had to swap it out. Yeah, this is still going through its cycle, so. Uh, Anybody who's got one of these knows that it's hot at first, it, uh, fast flowing at first um, to get it up to temperature and then once it's up to temperature it starts dropping down and the fan will slow down to whatever speed you've set the dosage to. The Hertz. Starting to do that now, the fan's starting to drop down. I hate these things kick out, it's awesome. I've had the door open, it's like 12.2 already. By now I would have been able to hear the pump. The last one. And I haven't even got the mattresses on. Even with the 
with the last pump even when the mattress is on and everything else through the night you could hear it tick 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 I mean I think you'll agree that's on 1.4 to the lowest hertz which means that the fans are its lowest as well the wind outside is louder than it that's fab I'm a very very happy bunny with this God, this van is manky. It is utterly disgusting. I can't wait to rip everything out. Make it all very nice. I mean, it was just to. I was going to do it last summer. But then I smashed my shoulder up and I was in hospital and. I couldn't do anything with my arm. Success! That is completely silent. I'm so super stoked with this, absolutely super stoked with this. This is literally a game changer if your game is going and playing out in your van and you'd like to do it in the winter without loads of noise so you can leave your heater on through the night. Brilliant.